Hello everyone. In last video, we have seen how we can add test cases through AI in Postman and then we have executed few test cases, right? All a users add user. Now, in this video, we will see how to run all the APIs at once. So for that, what we need to do, we just need to go to our collection. This is our collection. Inside this, we have all these API added. So before that, let me just put basic test cases in all the requests. For example, this is get all users. I have added few test cases. Similarly, get by ID. Let me add few test cases. And a simple thing I'll add is check 200 status code. This is one test case. Just click save. Then in update user also, I'll just check some test case. And here also I'll add few things. Right. So in this update, right, I might get different. You know, let, let's let's check that. So it's saying 200, and our test case is also passed, which is okay. Let's go in delete, and here. I'll just add one test case. Two hundred. Send it. So it's saying two zero four, right? That means our test case is failed. So let it be failed. I just wanted to see this output as well in our final output. So I have added um, test cases in all these APIs. And I have saved as well. Now what I want, I want to run all these APIs, these five APIs together. For that, I need to click on, you know, collection and then go to the last option that you can see here, runs. Just click on runs. So for that, click on collection, go to runs. And here you can see run collection. So I just need to click on run collection. And then from here we have three options run manually, schedule run, and automate run via CLI. And by default, here it will select all these API. You can also arrange, right, the manner that you want to run. So let it be normal, right, as is that we have request. So we have all the requests selected. I am selecting run manually, iteration one. That means I want it to execute only one time, right? This is used for performance test as well, all right? You can see performance or load test. So if you write here two, that means same request will be sent two times. Delay, right? That means how much delay you want from one run to another run and the data file. So we'll discuss data file later. And then we have here persist response for a session. So I'll just click on persist response without changing anything. I have, so let me re reiterate the things. I have clicked on collections. Then I am here in runs. And after that, I need to click on run collection. And let it be everything, just I'm clicking persist response for a session. And then click run request API. So if you will see, what it will do is it will run all these APIs one by one. And here you will see the iteration also. So I have set iteration one. That means it will run only one time. And in one iteration, you can see first it called all get all users and all the test cases passed for this particular user, particular request. Then we have get by ID, we added only one test case, add user, then update user and delete user. So delete user, test case assertion is failed. But you can see all these things together. And why I have clicked on persist, because in, in case of persist, right? you ticked, then you can also see in each one, right? What is the request? What is the response that we get? What is the response, you know, a status code and everything you will see. That means it will keep your request and response together. 
So that thing you can validate from here. This is used to debug the response or API. You can also click on view sum summary to see which one is passing, which one is failed. How much total time it took to execute all these things. So this is one thing and then once you click on here, you will see that one iteration right is available here. So now going forward, once you click on collection, go to runs, you will see that I have executed first time and it took this much time. Same thing you can do, right? You can schedule this from here also that if you want to run continuously, you can do from here also. So this is one way to execute all test cases together. We have another one that we can run through CLI or, or we can run through new man. So we'll discuss that new man in our next video. Thank you so much.